guys, my name is Gabriela Martinez and you're watching Titan Weekly. This week we'll be highlighting some fresh entertainment and CSUF news. Let's get started. Up and coming rapper Pop Smoke was sadly killed during a home invasion on Wednesday morning. LAPD responded to an emergency call around 4.30 a.m. in Hollywood. While the motive is unknown, the suspects are still at large. Over the short span of his short career, the artist collaborated with Travis Scott, Nicki Minaj, Quavo, and other hip-hop heavy hitters. As news broke, tributes and condolences poured in from family, friends, and fans. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Beedy beedy bum bum. Some of Latin music's biggest names are coming together to honor the memory of the legendary Selena Quintanilla. Artists including Pitbull, Los Sucanes de Tijuana, Becky G, and more are set to take the stage at Selena 25 Años. The tribute concert will be held on May 9th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. Selena's sister and CEO of Q Productions, Suzette Quintanilla, made the announcement earlier this week, stating, quote, we are excited to bring this ultimate fan experience to honor and celebrate my sister, Selena, end quote. We all love two-day shipping, but at what cost? It's time to find out. Have you ever wanted to pick the brain of the founder of Amazon? Luckily for you, PBS is coming out with a two-hour documentary that highlights Jeff Bezos' journey building amazing Amazon into the $135 billion company that it is today. The documentary gives viewers an inside look into the world's largest online retailer, as well as begging the question, has Amazon gotten too big? To find out, tell Alexa to set a reminder to stream the documentary, which airs this week on PBS. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to celebrate your birthday with Alex from Target? Well, a little girl from Georgia came close to it when her parents threw her a Target-themed birthday party in her local Target. Here's more on this bullseye of a story with Titan TV's very own The Report. I have never wanted to have a birthday party at Target in my life more than I do now. What do you? I, that's crazy. It's the cutest thing that I've I mean, ever seen. They're, they're little uniforms. uniforms. Yes, the <laughs> uniforms are so adorable. If I could have my next birthday party at Taco Bell, I would be set. Oh I think gosh. maybe I would be better than her. I don't know. We're not comparing, but. <laughs> We love female empowerment. CSUF is encouraging women to learn how to stand up and fight for themselves. University Police hosted a self-defense course on Saturday exclusively for women as part of a class series called Rape Aggression Defense. The course is designed to teach risk awareness, self-defense skills, and assault avoidance tactics. The program takes place over three weekends in February and April. Once you complete it, you'll receive an RAD certificate, which will let you access training for free anywhere outside of school. I'm ready to learn how to kick some butt. Who's with me? Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time for some more fresh entertainment and CSUF news. My name is Gabriela Martinez. I'll catch you later.